On November 30th, 2022, ChatGBT was launched. It's a generative AI platform which is developed and maintained by OpenAI. The announcement of ChatGPT brought both excitement and fear to those in Hollywood. And this is because a generative AI platform like this could result in the obsolescence of writers over time. The site and others like it, namely Storyboarder, Hitpaw and Celtex can be leveraged to improve scripts and or write them from scratch. And this, as you can imagine, has been the root cause of concern for many writers. The fear of AI is so great that some writers have even called for regulation to limit the use of AI. Although most of these calls for regulation have been dismissed by studios at large. Then on February 15th, 2024, OpenAI went from disrupting the writing process to the actual filmmaking process with the launch of Sora. Sora is a text-to-video AI model that generates realistic videos from textual descriptions. Now, this is a real game changer. For the first time, we have the ability to generate realistic video with the simple commands of a keyboard. And I know what you're thinking, but hold your horses. You're not gonna be the next Martin Scorsese because of Sora. The technology isn't perfect, and it's not better than manually produced content at present. But of course, with time, this could change. And when it does, this could present a real dilemma for filmmakers. The technology is already being used to generate ideas at scale quickly. But of course, we are yet to see a box office movie which has leveraged the technology in its entirety. This perhaps is another five to 10 years away. Now, in addition to the roles of writers and filmmakers being called into question because of AI, actors themselves are threatened by the proliferation of AI. And this is because your favorite actors can be cloned. That's right, their image and likeness can potentially be used without them being present. Today, we already have technologies like Flawless AI, which allows you to lip sync such that a film can be recorded in one language but dubbed in another and the lips will move in sync with the desired language. We also have Deep Voodoo, which allows you to render real life actors and use stuntmen or doubles to act as though they are the original actor. All of this means that there could be a time in the very near future where the traditional roles of writers, filmmakers and actors no longer exists. In this video, we'll discuss how artificial intelligence has impacted Hollywood and what the future holds for everybody in the industry. The reality is that AI will impact those in the industry in two ways primarily. The first way is that it will democratize the creation process, meaning that more folks will enter the market. An increased number of writers, filmmakers and actors will make it harder for existing market participants to stand out from the crowd. If you're getting a smaller piece of a growing pie, this could call into question the economics of working in this space. But economic uncertainty is something that most full-time creatives have always had to live with, so this is nothing new. The second way AI will impact those in the industry only applies to those who are with studios. Think about this for a second. If a studio can leverage AI to aid the writing and filmmaking process, why wouldn't they? Now, a direct consequence of this is that those who were previously at lower levels of the creation value chain may now be overlooked. I mean, why hire entry-level writers when you can outsource their role to AI and then work from there? Why even hire a huge team of writers for that matter when you can hire fewer folks to work with AI? Why have a huge team working on the filmmaking process when you can leverage AI to clone actors and create films in their entirety? All of these are valid questions. And we must remember that studios are in the business of making money. With the billions that studios are investing in keeping up with the demand for new content, of course, they're going to look for ways to make the creation process quicker and cheaper. In other words, more efficient. So how exactly has AI impacted studios? Before getting to the answer of that question, if you're liking this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Studios are in a very interesting place because for the time being, they're best placed to take advantage of the developments in AI. AI is simply not at a stage where it can render studios obsolete. Studios can, as alluded to earlier, streamline the process of creating film with cost savings from writing, filmmaking, and the hiring of actors. This, in the short to midterm, will have a positive impact on their businesses. However, longer term, as AI improves and anyone anywhere has the ability to create 
blockbuster level film from their bedroom and then seamlessly upload it to a content distributor, studios will have a hard time dominating the market in that environment. Granted, they'll always have a larger marketing budget than your average do-it-yourself filmmaker, but this doesn't always guarantee success. Speaking of the do-it-yourself filmmaker, I think this is the person for whom a breakthrough in AI could be most beneficial. Just imagine being a filmmaker from Bahia, Brazil, with very little to work with other than your raw imagination, internet, and an iPhone. In time, AI could assist this individual in making a film that we'd all pay to watch in theaters and leave satisfied. This is a feat even Disney has failed to achieve in recent times. But I digress. Yes, there'll be an overload of content and film on the internet, but I guess we'll just have to adapt. In addition, we may reach a point where we can all create our own movies and then watch them immediately. All by writing a simple command such as, show me a 90 minute action comedy film based in 1970s Cali, Colombia, based on the Cali cartel. In any case, it would be interesting to know what you guys think of AI's impact on Hollywood down in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.